Now, to what could be a game changer in the fight against HIV, the Ministry of Health has today launched the use of vaginal rings among women in a bid to arrest the new HIV infections. Speaking at the launch of the program, Acting Director General at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Patrick Amoth, indicated that women were the main target of the program as adolescent girls and young women contribute to nearly a third of the new infections. And as Laura Tino now reports, the Ministry has lined more technologies to prevent new HIV infections amidst a shrinking base of donors support. With no HIV vaccine in sight yet, scientists are now eyeing other innovations such as injectable PrEP and vaginal rings that they believe may yield better new HIV prevention and treatment solutions. Speaking at the launch of the Catalyst study in Kisumu on Monday, Health Director General Patrick Amoth pointed out the need for Kenya to adapt local technologies in prevention of HIV as the country grapples with reduced funding in the health sector. The Director General further indicating that Kenya's donor funding for HIV-related programs has declined from 32% in the last decade to 18% in 2021, prompting the need to activate local innovations to manage the HIV-AIDS epidemic. Ours is now just to be able to prioritize how we put more investments into HIV prevention and other public health interventions, but also to be able to de develop interventions that can be able to give us more health for the shilling that we spend on each of the activities. And you know in preventive, when you spend $1 in, in return, you, you save $14. In a five-year study that will be conducted across six facilities in Kisumu, Nairobi, and Mombasa counties, women aged 18 and above will be issued with a vaginal ring. The ring that is made of silicon material can be inserted by the user and will be releasing regulated amounts of an antiretroviral drug, Dapivirin, over a 28-day period, offering protection against HIV. The ministry is, however, still working with sector players to develop more preventive technologies against the virus. We are trying to look out for a product that can prevent pregnancy and prevent HIV because young young girls are saying they are more afraid of becoming pregnant than getting HIV. Uh, there's also the, the injectable that is more long term, like every six months that is currently being tried out. We have uh, other pills that are also being tried out. So there are quite a number that are coming. Infections have been rising, especially among the youth and adolescent population and therefore we need to do this study to be able to inform us in terms of policy development and also new interventions that we need to put in place to break the circle of new HIV infections. The rings will be available in the six earmarked facilities by end of June after they receive clearance from the Kenya Pharmacy and Poisons Board. As African countries operate amidst shrinking donor funding in the health sector, Kenya is looking inwards to develop homegrown solutions that are aimed at disease prevention to enable the country effectively manage the health sector. Laura Oteno, Citizen TV.